believe this is Davis Lake. This video is brought to you by Sutco Transportation. Now hiring Super B Widget, Super B Flat Tech, Class 1 drivers in PC's Lower Mainland, the Okanagan, and the Kootenays. To apply, go to sutco.ca. Use promo code QUANFAN. Let them know I sent you. And also get an extra 100 bucks on your first payday. Make sure you use my name as a reference when you apply for the job. Any referral bonuses I get, I will split with you guys. Good morning. Good morning. It is 11.49 a.m. Minus 12.5 Celsius. We are on Highway 211 in Washington. Headed north in this very scenic section of highway here. So we loaded in Spokane. Today is Wednesday for me, not for you guys, but for me it's Wednesday. We loaded in Spokane and uh, we got trailer parts. I think they're for um, chip trailers, 52 foot quad deck chip trailer, aluminum rails and stuff, and kingpin, kingpin and aluminum rail. And this is so beautiful here. I decided to shoot a video here because we just found out we have a four day weekend. We have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. So if I shoot a video today and tomorrow, at least we'll keep having videos for you guys, even though I'll be at home having a four day weekend. Thinking ahead, thinking ahead. Yeah, we called this batch. Well, just emailed this batch and said, hey, what does my weekend look like? Because it is Christmas weekend for me. For you guys, it's already a week into New Year's. So um, we're going to get Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday off. So that's going to work out very well for seeing family and stuff. I'm quite happy with that. I typically get Tuesday off, but we have to drive part of Tuesday. We have to drive part of Tuesday. <laughs> Uh, not necessarily. They're not 100% sure if we're delivering on Wednesday or Thursday. Yeah. So, it be so <laughs> there may be days that we are not shooting video. So I'm trying to get ahead of the game. My memory cards are almost full, so it won't be a full length video. But luckily, we're not doing full one hour videos anymore. Now we're just doing videos however long they're convenient. I just shot a bonus video that was well over an hour long because it was just so gorgeous and beautiful. So if I had thought ahead, I would have made that video a little shorter. But eh. It works out. It works out. It'll we still be a decent length video. We ended up having a lot to talk about. <laughs> but yesterday, Jess was, or today, but yesterday's video. Jess was sleeping in the back. She said she got a little bit extra sleep. Um, she's going to try to sleep tonight again and see how it goes. And if she can't sleep tonight, she's going to stay at home next week. Or the weekend. However long until the bunk heat is fixed. Until we have the batteries replaced. Because if she can't sleep, she keeps me up and then I don't get enough sleep. And then that makes nobody happy. So and no point in sitting here with a sinus headache get enough sleep. Yeah, and they get very grouchy and you get grouchy and then... We're not there yet, but we can both see that's going to happen eventually. If, yeah. we, if this pattern keeps going, it, it's not it's not a pattern that's healthy. It looks like they spun out now that emptying the U-Haul to make it on the driveway. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Emptying the U-Haul on the driveway. I couldn't yeah, I know see I need... if they were chained up or not. Sorry, you were going to say? I know I need to take... Oh, this is confusing. 
And then next week, the week after off anyway, so. Hmm. And you need one or two weeks off? Uh, if I stay home next week, I, I don't know. I like two weeks off just to catch up on everything. Oh, all the cooking and stuff. Cooking and I have a... Next week will be hard for you to do that, though. I have blood work stuff I have to do as well. Mm, yeah. I will go to specifics, but there's one that cannot be done in Canada. It has to be done here and sent to the U.S. to be analyzed. It has to be done in, but you have to take, do the blood test, or take the blood in Canada and then it gets, the blood gets sent to the U.S.? Yeah. Yeah. You had to sign a special approval for privacy that yeah. the U.S. can access our private account or whatever. Yeah, and then... The, get the, the government of Canada pay for it as well. So it's not oh, He's chained up as well. Oh, as a FedEx. Yeah, we don't pay for any of that. It's all covered by Canada's medical healthcare system, so. It never occurred to me, like, some people will probably laugh, but, like, first we're used to the telecalls and getting texts from doctors, right, appointment reminders, isn't that right? And my dad's getting texts and stuff. He lives in the States here. And he's like, I don't know whether or not to answer him because I don't know if I get charged or not. i seeing the doctor. Do I get charged for the text? If I start conversations with you, are you going to Oh, no way. That's so... Yeah, right? Like, for us, we wouldn't think about it. We'd be like, wouldn't yes, even think no, of it. Yeah. Like, I've been talking to doctors and going back and forth for me. I don't think about getting church. I'm like, oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> we just go to the hospital and don't think about money. We just go, hey, we need health care. We don't have to think about, oh, we need health care. Is it worth how much money it's going to cost? That's yeah. just not a op. That never crosses our mind. That's just not a stress. Like, just the things like that, that I'm like, oh, I never thought about it. Yeah, a little socialism is good. I think a little socialism is good. The U.S. has a lot of things that's socialist too, but they just don't call it social. <laughs> there, there's a lot of socialist programs in the U.S., but if you call it socialist, ooh, end of the world. Don't don't want to call it that. Even the postal system, that's a socialist program. Yeah. Your social insurance company, social insurance card has social in the word. Please, please, system, social. Yeah. I would prefer two weeks off. I don't know if it needs to be this week or the week after. Yeah. Or, yeah. Well, if you can sleep tonight, I would say come with next week because it'll be a short week. Yeah. And then stay home the two weeks after that. That would be my vote, but. Eh. I don't really have a vote here. I, I think it might be uh, a moral issue if, if, I, if I had a vote in that decision. You can have opinions, right? Yes, I can have opinions. I can say what I would prefer, but yeah. I can't make you come with me. And I can't make you stay at home. I guess I could make you stay at home. I could say, no, you can't come with me. I could do that as far as work is related if all of a sudden you were too distracting or something like that right yep. but I can't say you have to come with me man this is beautiful you guys have seen me drive this a lot in the summer and stuff but this much snow I don't think I've ever come through here with this much snow
12.5, so it's getting cooler. Mm -hmm. I believe this is Davis Lake. I believe so. That road on the GPS is Davis Lake Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. tracks on the snow, but I don't know if there are human tracks or not. It looks like there's some tracks there and then a square disturbed area where somebody may have had a uh, fishing hut. driving northbound having the sun behind us makes it makes it kind of pretty well, what was the giggle for because we're always driving southbound it seems in, in the video so it's a nice change it's just the time of day usually that we shoot the videos yeah yeah Yesterday's video I shot really early because I wasn't sure what was going to happen today. And like, the way the days have been going this week, it's everything's up in the air. Well, we didn't think we were going to get this load, so yeah. Hey, yeah, it's it's a, it's a tiny little load, but I get paid as if it's a full load, so it's pretty cool. I'm a fan. this hill was this steep. In the snow you find it very quickly where the steep hills are because it's slippery. My truck is spinning the tires a little bit. Well, like, I didn't think this hill was steep. But it's steep enough. Steep enough. Hey, where's our sunshine? I thought we had the sun from behind us. Where would it go? I was like, I can't enjoy to be on a road with less traffic at the moment. There's actually quite a bit of traffic on this road. The last few days, especially yesterday, I'm oh, glad we are touring people. Uh, so done with the <laughs> stupidity of other people. Even in Spokane, I'm like, yeah, I'm just done with the city. I want to be up here. your prediction? That we didn't have to go to the lower mainland. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Kelowna and Vernon were bad enough. I kept my chains on all the way through Kelowna. He ended up thinking about Summerland. Yeah. Yeah, because the links broke. Which I fixed overnight. In the evening when I stopped, I just jumped out and quickly fixed the uh, chains are fixed. They're ready for another run if we need to. Um, we'll see how Madeline Falls is today. Might have to chain up there. Yeah, that's the one place I was thinking of, like those hills will be kind of sketchy. VHF on and go to Lad 2. If there's anybody else on that highway, that's the channel they'll be on.
I could drop the axle in the back. Um, to go up we're, the hill? we're light, but I could drop the axle in the back to go up the hill to have a little more pressure on the drive. It also does have a little, one ex two extra wheels on drag too, so there's but having the extra pressure on the drives might be helpful. Or we're light enough, I think we'll be fine without chaining up. I was briefly looking at Vancouver and like, yeah, I'm glad we're not going there. Snow and then all the rains and be snow on the passes. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm kind of thankful for the longer weekend. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, whenever we go that way, definitely leave early. So that way we are no rush. And remember, we're going to have to boost the truck. Yes. I need some extra time just to get the truck started up. Especially after four days off. Yeah, it's supposed to be cool today and tomorrow. Let's start to warm up. So a little warmer might be good for that. Well, that's why Vancouver's not bringing on the weekend. So Tuesday should be a little warmer. That's I good. That, so. That's good news for the engine. Then I'm gonna stop my brother's place and grab those booster cables I dropped off at his place. Yeah, we kind of forgot about. We have a Christmas card. Yeah, yeah, we'll go there and pick those up and then leave the booster cables in the truck. If I need them somewhere, at least I can get anyone driving by to help. I should see what they're doing on last day. They like carpool on the way up. Yeah, it's a good idea. Once we know what Liz is doing. See if they want to carpool up here. Yeah. If they want to take their vehicle, we can just pay for gas. Yeah. tracks in the field, so. Must be a local farmer, that's just maybe one of our kids having fun in the field, so yeah. yes, that big field out there, feel free to play in there as much as you want. If you've got young kids on a snowmobile, that's a good way of controlling where they, it's 
a big field, so you can have a lot of fun on a field like that. Growing up, we had uh, three snowmobiles in my family. I have never ridden a snowmobile. So, um, my older sister, when she got her license, right, you had to be a certain age, we would double up. My family was six, and we would go out on the rails and trails. And we had to find a way to make it go on a snowmobile. And, uh, Holy dude, your tire is flat. Like, flat, flat. Why are you driving on that? Tire is destroyed. You're getting a new tire, there's no way you're fixing it. Oh, like, the way he's doing it, he's going to go up to the rim next, and that's even more expensive. Just do a quick walk around your vehicle every time you get into it. Just make sure you don't have any flat tires. And if you have a flat, stop. Yeah, just stop. The rims are pretty expensive. Very expensive. Look, like there's an RV in there. So we get to Canada, the more the, the roads are covered in snow. <laughs> like a switch. One hand on the phone, the other hand waving at me. Okay. Not exactly the safest. So I always use Bluetooth, but even Bluetooth is distracting. It Not is. as distracting as having your hand up to your ear, but it is still distracting. So I avoid being on the phone. A lot. There's no no reason to be on the phone all the time. I'm saying then when I'm with you, I I do it all. <laughs> yeah, when Jess is with, she does all the calling. Um, when not, then I use Bluetooth and then I don't call a lot. Like literally, there's days where we don't talk. It's just like not safe. Not safe. Yeah. I won't even call Jess because I don't see a nice... I'll only call her if I have a big wide open stretch and it's not super stressful driving like this type of weather. Then I'll call her and go, hey, I've got half an hour of open road that's relaxing so we can talk for half an hour. I'll say a half hour is pretty generous. Usually it's like 10 minutes. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. <laughs> So it's just something you have to learn to deal with, I guess. Right? Like, be flexible with. I'm pretty introverted anyway, so I can go days without people. I just have to remember other people aren't like that. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, I should call. I don't feel like calling anyone. I don't have the need I should call anyone, but I should probably call. I kind of do that like I'm constantly like, oh, I haven't reached out to a family member in this long, right? Yeah. I should reach out. Like, it's almost worth me putting it as a reminder of my phone because I forget how much time has gone between. Last time I talked to my dad, I was talking about that. He's like, no, I don't worry about it, you guys. It's like, I wonder about you guys. Mm -hmm. He's like, it's never a worry, because I know you're okay. Yeah. And 
you had a roof and food and all that, but he's like, I wonder what you're up to. So, it was a really nice conversation. I had parts where I talked with that. It was cute. How slippery are these corners? I certainly don't want to come through them at full speed find out that I'm going into the ditch. Because that would suck. We don't need a longer week. I, I like to keep my longer weekend. Yeah. So, is it electricity related? No. Hmm. I don't know what kind of watts are not electrical. Something like a spoon, maybe? I don't know. I'm trying to go with this thing here now. Yeah, are you hungry? Yeah, I see if we're getting there. I could eat. Like watts, okay, watts. We don't have a microwave in this truck. Sorry, I won't. Or the micro or the truck before. Or the truck before that. Oh wait, I've never had a microwave in the truck. Well no, that's not true. I've had a couple of microwaves. <laughs> but every time I get the truck I go yank it out and go here. And give that to a different driver. Hold on to it. Don't want it. I've no need for it. It's gross. There's only two things I'm missing my coin for. Popcorn? Which I can do the other way, but popcorn in a truck is hard to do. And the other way is, um, I know there's other ways to do it, but, um, like a rice sock heating up the heating pad. Oh. And I know you can do it with hot water or whatever, but it's convenient just to have, like, a rice sock or pad or whatever, you know, homemade thing and you heat it up. Yeah. Invented to uh, reanimate mice. Yeah, that was interesting. Bring mice back from death. Unfortunately, I mean, it, it actually worked. Mice, they, they reanimated mice. They can do them after mice were frozen. Unfortunately, it doesn't scale, so. It has to be a small animal to be able to reanimate them. As they went to bigger animals, nope, didn't work. And the reason the microwave was invented because they tried reanimating mice with different heating methods, mm -hmm. and it was burning, giving them burn scars and stuff, right? Okay. So they're like, there's got to be a better way of heating without burning something. Mm -hmm. so. Or microwaves, radioactive heating. Someone had the aha moment. It's interesting how, like, that and other things, the original use of it was never what we use it for now. Yeah. And nowadays, microwave is just radio radiation with a Faraday cage around it to prevent the radiation to leak out. Done.
I learned this from YouTube videos. I wonder, I was wondering, I'm like, is there a channel that just goes originally use, like, I don't really watch a lot of the teaching you about things, but things that we use that were never invented for that use, like a channel just for that was Yesterday, right? Yesterday, yes, yesterday. Yesterday evening. At 15.30. I remember writing it down in the truth team. Ah, let's do that, yep. Or was it 5.30? <laughs> 1730, so I remember they were the same number. I remember I was texting our group of friends. I was like, hey, look, we've gone a very short distance. Oh, look, there's a bunch of deer in that yard. Are you reindeer? No? You're okay. I wonder if Santa's elk are going to hang out at KMP again. That was cool. Yeah, I would like to see them. Is that the first time we've seen them there, though? say we have left? Nine minutes. Nine minutes? This one says eight minutes. The other one doesn't tell us. The new one doesn't tell us how much time we have left. Which is too bad. I kind of like that number. It's a handy number to know. could buy bigger memory cards, but it's rare that we shoot more than two videos in a day. I can't edit more than two anyway, yeah. and editing two is hard, so I'm definitely not editing this video tonight. No. Maybe tomorrow night. The longer you wait, the more you're like, I don't remember what we were doing or saying. Yeah, it's nice to edit them the day, uh, the day that it makes editing easier going, oh yeah, there's a bunch of red lights in here that I should edit out. Or, we 
we had the CD radio on or the VHF radio on. Somebody was cursing like crazy. I gotta cut all that time out. Definitely was uh, the case yesterday. Ray River. starting to freeze over along the edges. Slept at that pillow before. A lot of these pullouts along this area say I've slept in them. <laughs> yep, I remember that time I slept over that one. Slept at that one and that one. But most of those times were when the border wasn't as, the border's open longer. Now the border closes so early. So I rarely come along this route if, if it's gonna be late. I usually go the other route and cross at Patterson. Because what's the point of sitting here for hours when you can cross at Patterson and be waiting to load tomorrow the first yeah. thing in the morning instead of sitting here for a bunch of hours and then going. Patterson is a 24 hour crossing. Meanwhile, this border opens at 8. I think it's 8, 8 to 4. 8 to 4, I think, yeah. yeah. So you want to sleep in the chipper's yard? Sleeping in the chipper's yard gives us restrooms. Need my hard hat now. You need your hard hat now because yeah. the hard hat's now a new rule. Hard hat and safety vest, that's about all you need. It does mean we have to get up at like 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Or we can sleep by the rest area. We don't always know they've had though. Yeah. Slept in that pull up there even though it says no overnight parking. I slept there. Last time I pulled in there Jess said she didn't feel comfortable sleeping there, so I went and pulled into this one up here instead. I have a thing for signs. You don't have a thing for signs. You never know what fences are for. No overnight parking means no camping, no fires, no Literally just parking and then moving on. You don't want fences over. Parking for 10 hours and moving along. I don't know what the actual law is in Washington. Could they make me move? In BC, truckers are allowed to park at places that say no overnight parking. No overnight parking or camping. Big rigs are allowed to stop there for eight hours. And, and sleep. So. If you're a, if you're a long haul driver and you're driving coming through uh, British Columbia, anywhere that says no overnight parking or camping on like pullouts and like rest areas, feel free to park overnight. Just 
still do it in break checks for yourself and for other people. They want us to pass. is going to run out of time here within the next minute so thank you guys so much for watching we will see you guys tomorrow hopefully we're entertaining I, I really enjoy these drives they're absolutely beautiful and uh, drop in some questions down below in the comments I'm always more than happy to answer any of the questions I know the answers to. If I don't know the answer, I'll just say I don't know. Feel free to ask some stupid questions that you've always wondered about. We are out of here. You guys rock. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.